All right, guys, what's up? New Age here, uh, your coach of the Anlo Valley Agrons, and this is our team builder for week two. We're gonna, we're going up against <laughs> the Brooklyn Bayonets and uh, their coach Alex, aka Aiden, uh, uh, Mark, Mark, March. I don't know if it's Mark or March. Pretty sure it's March. Anyways. Anyways, first off, I want to say uh, two things. One, all their info will be down below, their Twitter and their YouTube. So you can go follow them on Twitter, obviously. And so you could go to their YouTube channel and see if they do a team builder. If not, either way, you'll be able to see their part of the battle after me and him battle. So you can get both sides of the action and all that good stuff. Second, I want to say... Um, I haven't had much time to record uh, this today, so I'm recording it at night, and that's why I don't have a webcam. Do I normally have a webcam for this? I don't think I do. Well, <laughs> alright then, never mind. Uh, but I don't like recording webcam at night because I don't have any good lighting. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get to it. First off, I want to say, I do not know why. But I have been having some serious trouble team building this week. Like, it's not a time thing. It's not, like, uh, anything excusable. It's just I cannot settle on something. This is what I decided to settle with because I'm going to bed right after this, waking up and going to work, and then when I get home from work, I'm battling. So this is just, like, I kept changing so many things, and I still don't even really like what I have, but it's what I feel is, I don't know, com I guess comfortable, I'm not even comfortable with this, but it's what I feel like I can make work best, I guess. Um, so hopefully it'll work, hopefully it'll pull through for us, if not, I mean, there's no excuses, like, I just, I just can't can't think of anything that I'm like extremely comfortable with like going in it like yeah this team and this set is gonna wreck and put in work but this uh, video might be a little bit longer because I started team building a bit differently um, I'm actually starting to try and like not so much counter team I guess but get an idea of what they're bringing what my opponent is bringing before I go into the battle um, so I'm not really gonna explain my all of my thought process, but I basically pretended like I was team building uh, for him. Actually, hmm. I want to pretend like I was team building for him uh, against me. So, ignore like all the movesets and everything. There's more so just the Pokemon I think he'll bring. Um, I actually want to get my team. I won't put it on the screen, but I want to have a look at it for why I chose what. Um, so this, these are the six I'm expecting him to bring. Uh, Gliscor, I want to start off just as a Stealth Rock Pokemon. Um, just, I don't know. I feel like he would want Stealth Rocks just because of potential sturdy things and weakening my team uh, for sure. So I think he's going to bring Gliscor. Um, I just feel like it's going to be Stealth Rock. I don't know the rest of the set. I don't really have particular ideas for what movesets he's going to have. These are just reasons why. Um, also, Gliscor is good against uh, Excadrill with things like Earthquake. Um, it's it's basically good against a lot of the stuff that's weak to ground, obviously. Uh, so, you know, it can hit Crustle and wear it down because I can't really do anything back to it. I can't hit it with my own Earthquake. Uh, Excadrill doesn't get coverage like that. Um, it also has things for knock, uh, like knockoff, so for things against like my Porygon, or my Sigilyph, or even like my Flygon, which if it's like a defensive Gliscor can definitely take hits from that. Uh, so a lot of pros to bringing Gliscor. Um, let's see, Typhlosion, I feel like he's going to bring just because it's so much damage that he could put out on my team. Um, also I have a lot of Steel types. I mean, well, I have two steel types, but, um, I don't know, I feel like he'd want to bring this to take care of my steel types just because of things like 
I don't know, maybe a Zumero. I'm really afraid of him sweeping me with the Zumero. Um, but yeah, just the damage and with it scarfed, it can outspeed a lot of things on my team. Um, basically everything, even Alakazam, I'm pretty sure. Scarf Typhlosion outspeeds Mega Alakazam. Does it? I think it would. Um, and then, even with Flygon, if I have, if I bring a Scarf Flygon, it speed ties with that. Uh, Scrafty, I feel like, just puts in so much work. If he's like Dragon Dance, uh, this is actually a set I would think he would bring. Um, Lumberry, so in case, like, even if he just gets one turn to set up, this allows him, Lumberry allows him to be Moxie. So he can set up once and then just kind of go ham on my team. Um, Drain Punch, Crunch, and Iron Head. Iron Head literally covers my entire team. Uh, so I could definitely see that. And it's just a sketchy deal right there. Uh, Dusclops, I just feel like is bulky. Um, and would be really nice for wearing down my bulky Pokemon. Uh, like Toxic Stalling or something. Um, like Vaporeon and stuff. Because it could definitely eat up hits. Um, I guess if I do burn it, that's something. Because it doesn't really have reliable recovery other than uh, Pain Split. Um, as well as getting to burn things like potentially my Steelix. Um, or any of my other physical attackers. Um, but then, like, there's Conkolder too, so that's something he'd have to watch out for. Uh, Gothitel, I just feel like I did a few tests. Like, for example, Gothitel could trap my Sigilyph and just destroy it with Shadow Ball. Um, it, he could also use it to trap my bulky Stallmons like Porygon or Vaporeon uh, and trick them a choice item, so then they're kind of nullified from there. Um, as well as do things like not really trap my Conkolder, but revenge kill trap my Conkolder. Like say it's kind of weakened, it could come in, make it so I can't switch, and then just take me out with the Psy Shock. I think it does like 60 to 70 or something. It does a nice amount, so just things like that. Uh, being able to trap and just <coughs> pick off certain Mons. So I could see him bringing that, and then Azumarill, which I actually completely forgot was on his team until like last second. I did have slight confidence in my team until I saw that he had Azumarill, and I was like, alright, it's over. Um, just because Azumarill, like, my only hope is like Vaporeon and Scald burning it, but outside of that, Azumarill runs through my team. Um... I'm pretty sure, like, Aqua Jetta plus 6 can just one-shot Excadrill. Um, he has priority to, like, one-shot and outspeed all my faster mons. My faster mons are really weak defensively. Um, and my slower ones, he could definitely one-shot with Waterfall or Play Rough or something like that. Uh, so, I'm kind of just terrified of Azumarill. So, that being said, those are the Pokemon I think he will bring. And so I attempted to prepare accordingly. He may not bring any of those Pokemon. That'd be really weird because that's like most of his Pokemon. He has to at least bring one of those, I'm sure. But uh, this, <laughs> this is what I brought. Anyways, uh, who do I want to start with? All right, I want to start with uh, what am I first? Because <clears throat> I was really afraid of him getting up rocks. Because that breaks Sturdy on Steelix, and Sturdy is the one thing that could help me beat his potential sweepers. Uh, not really, uh, not really, um, who am I trying to say? Scrafty, because he could just Drain Punch and get all of his health back, and I can't really damage him like that. Um, but Zoomerill for sure, I can get off a nice chunk of damage, and if it's already weakened, then that pretty much takes care of it, so that's really cool. Um, but... Alright, this is, this is my uh, idea with this. It's kind of a fun set, I really like it. Uh, enough speed to outspeed Gliscor. Other than that, I either don't outspeed it normally or for sure don't outspeed it Scarfed. So it didn't really matter. Um, max special attack and I just put the rest in special defense just to maybe take some hits like maybe Typhlosion or uh, Gothitelle better. But, this is my scenario, okay? If I see Gliscor, I lead with Sigilyph turn 1 because Ice Beam can kill if he's not specially defensive. Um, if he is specially defensive, I still have a chance, but it's a roll. But I don't think he'd be specially defensive, and 
that being said, Ice Beam will one shot him. Um, also, another option, if say first turn doesn't work out like that, late game I can attempt to trick it Flame Orb. If it has, <coughs> I don't know why I suck at talking. If it hasn't come in yet, and then it's just kind of burned there, and I don't care about Toxic Orb because I have Magic Guard, so that would be cool to kind of nullify that. Um, so I have Ice Beam for the Glide Score to stop it from saying up Rock's turn one, if that's a thing. Um, and then Dazzling Gleam uh, can blow back Scrafty. The only way this doesn't kill, well, all right, he can live it if he is uh, specially defensive. But if he's specially defensive, it's gonna do so much I can revenge kill him with anything else. Um, if he's assault vested and specially defensive, this will still 2 AK on him. So it'll do so much. And even then, if he's specially defensive and assault vested, he's not like the setup mon that I'm worried about. So it'll be a lot easier to deal with. So it's not really that big of an issue. Um, another reason I added Trick onto this is if he is setup Scrafty, like if I think he is then I'm just gonna trick him the flame orb right away because that covers that completely I think nullify nullifies Scrafty really well because even if he sheds skin flame orb will constantly burn him so even if it goes away it'll come back right after so uh, I really like trick trick also works on Gothitel. Um if it wants to trick me I can attempt to trick it back and just kind of screw it over and kind of make it so he can't trap trap me with Gothitel which I really didn't want to have to deal with. Um, I kind of prepped some of my Pokemon to be trapped uh, and be able to not be trapped, so that's why I did that. And then Air Slash I put last because I wanted to put Heat Wave for, say, Scizor, but then I have nothing for Typhlosion, and it's kind of like vice versa. Uh, so also Typhlosion could come in and get a boost on me. So I decided just to go with a move that can kind of hit neutral on some things. Uh, also, it lets me flinch because I'm faster than a, a lot of things. And then if he tricks me a Choice Scarf with Gothitelle, I can decide to just keep the Choice Scarf and just go ham with some Air Slashes and maybe flinch him. Um, so, yeah. I think, uh, I think Air Slash works pretty well with that as the last move. So, Sigilyph kind of playing a big role in this battle. I'm really excited, like this is one of the mods that I made first for this team and I was like, yeah, this will be legit. Um, but you know, it still dies to Azumarill just as easily. Um, let's see. So next up I want to talk about Goose. Uh, this is a fun one. Max HP, Max Spadef. I've ran the calcs. We can take Focus Blast from Typhlosion like a champ, like you don't even know. And uh, Trace has so much fun with this team. Alright, first off, uh, Volt Absorb from Jolteon. So it can't hit me with Stab, it can't hit me with Shadow Ball. So all Jolteon would really have to hit me with is Signal Beam, I'm pretty sure, because Jolteon doesn't have a huge move pool of special attacks. Um, and then there's Glide Score with Poison Heal. So if he is like a Toxic Stall, I don't think he'll be. I mean, I'm not saying I don't think he'll be Toxic Stall, but I don't know. I'm just expecting Stealth Rocks for sure. He could be Stealth Rocks offensive. That's totally a thing. But if he does try and. Uh, toxic me we can be healed off that which is really cool and then there's also a uh, typhlosion with flash fire he can't hit us with his stab fire moves he has to go for focus blast which does like 30 percent at most to us like my god the damage is crazy we just eat it up for days um <laughs> so recover obviously to heal try attack um i was actually considering a download set but then after i looked into how download works it wouldn't actually work out I'd get all the wrong boosts. Um, Tri Attack does a lot though at plus one to certain Pokemon. It's really cool. But it wasn't going to work out. But I do like Tri Attack as good stab. It does solid damage to things like Typhlosion as, and Jolteon. Um, and then I brought Shadow Ball because obviously I don't have anything to hit the Dusclops. And Dusclops can't do much to me back other than I guess if he wants to Toxic me or burn me. And I think he gets Seismic Toss, but we could recover off that, and we'd be faster than Dusclops anyways. Um, and Shadow Ball has a chance to lower the special defense, so I thought that'd be fun. It also lets me hit uh, Gothitelle for something if he decides to trap me. Or, if he does decide to go Gothitelle, I might just T-Wave right off the bat and let him just kill me. Because at least then, I get out with Gothitelle being paralyzed. 
And it's not just Gotha Tell. I can paralyze whatever I want. Like, I could take hits from Typhlosion, so I could paralyze that. Make it easier for the rest of my team to handle. Um, paralyzing things like Noivern. Just things that are really fast would be really nice. Uh, so, I'm definitely bring, bringing T-Wave just to have that to slow down some of his mods. Because I'm not bringing really any of my fast mods this game. Uh, so, it'd be nice to have, like, some solid speed control. Um, let's see. Choice specs next. Uh, Choice Scarf, really standard set. Um, just because I felt like I had to bring Choice Scarf because it speed ties with this Typhlosion if it's Choice Scarf. Also, I kind of don't have anything for uh, Noivern. Like, it kind of hits really hard, especially if it's like a spec set or something. So I wanted a Choice Scarf Outrage. Um, I don't think he'd be Choice Scarf Noivern. If he was, then that blows us back. Or at least Flygon. But then it's kind of somewhat easier for the rest of my team to handle. Um, but if he's not, I can just take it out with Outrage. Also, I looked into the calcs. Um, Azumarill, Earthquake, and 2-hit KO is, so that's pretty cool. Um, just being able to get off damage on it is nice. Uh, obviously, Earthquake for Jolteon, too, because I outspeed that. Uh, U-Turn for Gatatel if it wants to try and trap us. And then Fire Punch. I really... I didn't want to bring Fire Punch. I want to bring Defog just in case his Gliscor got up rocks. But... My team really doesn't have much for Scizor, uh, other than maybe Grape Drank, Burning It, something like that. But I don't want to rely on Burning because it's not reliable. Um, and Fire Punch can 2 AKO KO Scizor, whereas it can't do too much back. Honestly, plus 2 Scizor can blow back Flygon too, which is a terrifying thought. Um, but Fire Punch will be able to hit it for a lot of damage. So there's that. Um... So yeah, now let's talk about Grave Drank. Uh, this time I just went with a like full-on physically defensive, just because I wanted to be able to come in on things like Scrafty and Ambi Palm. I don't even like the thought of that. Like Ambi Palm is a monster, um, and then also Scizor, and I would have the chance to burn them with Scald. I don't feel like I needed any other coverage. Um, the only thing this doesn't really hit is like Azumarill and Vileplume. And I'm not really expecting him to bring Vileplume. Um, like I said, I mean, I already told you my six, so, you know. Um, but then Azumarill, of course, it has a chance to burn. Uh, so that's something. And it can't hit me with its Water Stab because of Water Absorb. So that's cool. Um, so Wish Protect, just to make sure. So say things like Jolteon. I don't know, like we could heal up on. Just ensuring the heal on that. And then, again, Baton Pass. Um for Gothitelle, so it can't technically trap me. It could still trick me and then I'm screwed, but at least I get out of there and get to go into whatever I want. Uh, also, Wish Baton Pass is a thing, so that could be something I exploit, so that'll be fun. Uh, but other than that, it's really standard, like physically defensive. I mean, the whole set is like standard physically defensive Vaporeon. Um, I don't really have any special like EVs this match, just because Everything is either like too fast or I already outspeed it, so I don't have to make anything like special this time around. Also, like I said, my head has been in a weird spot for team building, so it's been kind of hard to like figure out the specifics of things and really get into it. Um, so, like I said, I don't really think I need special EVs this game, but at the same time, I couldn't really think of any anyways. Uh, so, we got Veins for Days next. Assault Vest. I'm actually bringing the exact same set oh i actually did that wrong that's sketchy i already made my mons though um or did i i don't know i kept going back and forth i think i wanted to do max hp oh wait no 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 i did i switched it to max attack um i was actually that's what it was i was actually going to uh make it iron fist just because last week um brad was so adamant on not statusing me because he didn't want to give my Conkledur the boost. And I feel like this could be a similar scenario um, where I feel like he will go out of his way to not status me. And in return, I can just live off the burns and stuff and Iron Fist put in so much work. The damage output is like crazy in the difference. But I did decide to play it safer and go for Guts just because it does give me a status absorber if I need it. Um, because I don't really want to let some of my other Pokemon get statused. So I figured, you know what, I'll just play it safe, go with the Guts. Um, 
and the standard set again. I wanted to I want to try and run some different stuff on Conkledir, but this is not the week to do that. So Drain Punch, obviously, um, it's good for Scrafty as well as Mock Punch uh, for the priority and stuff. It can also help me deal with Ambipom. Uh, knock off, obviously, for Dusk Lobs. Uh, got the tail if that's a thing. Or just knocking off other items in general, like potential Choice Scarves. Or Citrus Berry on Azumarill, if we catch that on Switch, something like that. And then Ice Punch, um, that's mainly just for... Uh, well, it's for Gliscor and for Neubrin. Um But it's so, like, such a predictable set. Like, he'll definitely see it coming off of Gliscor, But, I mean... It's more like for trying to catch things. Also, I'm a salt vest, so I think I, I'm pretty sure I capped it. I can live a hurricane from Neuburn and then take it out with ice punch. So that's the thing. Um, but otherwise, like hella special defense and assault vest, just because um, Neuburn will be hitting extremely hard. Also, if he's like a Spex Jolteon, like there's just so much d damage from special attackers involved that I'm not trying to like deal with. <clears throat> so, last Pokemon. This one is interesting because I added it last second. Alright, so like I said, I'm so afraid of being swept by Scrafty and Vileplume, or Vileplume, Azumaro, um, that this originally was going to be a red card, Sturdy Steelix with like Roar, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Heavy Slam. Um, so that way like nothing could set up on me and I'd be chilling. Like, I really didn't want to have to have to worry about things setting up on me. Um, but I realized it was kind of only a temporary fix. Um, like, it could get rid of, like, a citrus berry. Like, make Azumarill waste a citrus berry, and that would be cool. But it kind of doesn't help against Scrafty, because that could just continuously set up uh, without any drawback, unlike Azumarill. Um... So what I decided on, I was actually looking into this, and Heavy Slam, oh my gosh. All right, first off, with Curse at plus two defense, I eat up so much. Like, Gliscor can't even touch me. Like, I eat up Earthquakes for days. I eat up hits from Scrafty. I looked at Heavy Slam's damage. Even unboosted, it can do almost 40% to Scrafty. And I was like, that is ridiculous. So I decided... If I can save this for late game and get some setup going, his team will not be able to touch me. Um, I do feel like I could handle Typhlosion. That's the only thing that I feel could do like ridiculous damage to this thing. Otherwise, I feel like it really walls him, especially if he wants to try and burn me with things like Dusclops. I can rest and be chilling and just keep on boosting and like, it's crazy. Just the damage that I do with Heavy Slam. Even only at plus two, like I don't, I don't need to set up like crazy. Like if I can even just get the plus two, I can almost one shot, if not one shot, everything on his team. It's ridiculous. Even Scizor does not appreciate Heavy Slam uh, boosted. And also, that's the last thing too. Uh, I wanted to bring Steelix because I don't feel like he would bring Scizor for some reason, but. I wanted something for Scizor just in case, um, and Steelix could totally wall Scizor. Uh, I actually looked into superpower damage, and superpower does a lot to me, but if I set up even one curse, I can live two superpowers and rest after that. Like, he wouldn't be able to touch me. Um, so we're going max HP, max attack to be able to hit better, and just the last eight in defense. Um, and then also I wanted to add Rocky Helmet, just so that way I could punish physical attackers. I did that last week with Vaporeon, and it was pretty cool. Um, I feel like it definitely worked out this time, especially against Scizor. Um, not really being able to touch me, or if it wants to U-turn, like punishing it for that. Just the little things. Um, but, like I said, if I can save this for late game, like even just getting rid of like Typhlosion, and setting up at the right time, like, oh my gosh, Steelix can potentially put in so much work. The damage is ridiculous. And I was like, this is crazy and awesome. Because I just felt like the Steelix I had was too, like... It was just a one-time fix. It doesn't actually, like, beat anything. Um, so I wasn't happy with that. So 
If I had to choose, I mean, this one is still iffy. It's just I really like the idea. But I really like uh, Goose and Sigilith for this game for sure. I also feel like Vaporeon could put in some work. So like these three, I'm really like excited about and think I did well. Uh, Underbite, Troy Specs, and Veins for Days. I'm hoping they do well. But it really depends on what he brings. Uh, so anyways, that's going to be the team builder, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. It's, like I said, a pretty straightforward as far as, like, EVs go. Not really any, like, crazy movesets either. This one is more just, like, coverage and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like I said, um, my opponent's info will be down below in the description, Twitter, and YouTube, all that good stuff. Be sure to go sub to their channel so you can catch their side of our battle next, what, next week after we do it i don't know what i was trying to say there uh but yeah if you guys are hyped leave a like and i'll see you guys in the battle tomorrow so uh wish us luck until then i'm new age too keep on watching see you guys next time hashtag ava